Hi and welcome to this video for the BTEC Applied Science Level 3 Unit 19 course. So within this at the start of the first assignment you'll be doing a few practicals and they're mainly um, analytical ones which looking at determining the amount of analyte present within some matrices. So we are going to be looking first of all at determining the iron content within a iron supplement tablet. So the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be standardizing some potassium manganate using the ethane dioic acid up here. So that's oxalic acid, probably called in the lab just as an old name, but proper chemical name, ethane dioic. And then once we've standardized the potassium manganate, we'll be using that to um, react in a redox reaction with the iron uh, content in the tablet itself. So first off, as we can see, it's a case of rinsing the pipette with the ethane dioic. We're going to put 10 cubic centimeters into a 100 cubic centimeter conical flask, a um, bit of sulfuric acid within here, and just making it up. And then if I scroll down a little bit, too much. So once we've added that in, it's a case of doing the titration and I'm just going to make up some numbers in here. So we'll say zero, finish the 11.20 there. So I filled it back up. Can I say I overshot a little bit? So I get some results that look like this. Now for picking out my concordant result, again, concordant result should be within 0 0.10 cubic centimeters of each other. So I've got concordant here and here. So I've just made it easy for the mental maths for me um, since it's early in the morning. And obviously the average of 10 and 10 just means I've used exactly 10 cubic centimeters here. So on to the calculations with it. Now, first off, calculate the number of moles of the 0 0.05 moles per decimeter cube. So obviously that's concentration, capital M. Don't confuse that for number of moles. In 10 cubic centimeters. So again, bear in mind that the 70 was to cover the full practical. So you're not using this number there. That's just a big bucket that you've got. You use the 10 cubic centimeters here, and the concentration is given to you at the start, so it's a pre-made solution. So in order to work out that, as we can see up here, the calculation, N equals CV. So I'm just going to do the 0 0.05 times, in this case, 10 cubic centimeters. Remember to convert. So, 0 0.05 times 0 0.01 gives us 5 times 10 to the minus 4. Now, calculate the number of moles of potassium manganate required to neutralize this. So I need to look at the ratio. The ratio 2 to 5 there. So for every 5 ethane dioic, then it neutralizes only two of the manganate ions. So what I need to do here is five times 10 to the minus four, divided by five from there, and then times by two from here, and that'll give me two times 10 to the minus four moles. Final little bit, calculate the concentration of potassium magnate using your concordant value. So the concordant, just as a reminder, up here, the 10 cubic centimeters from the average of these two, titrations one and three. If I want to work out concentration, I need to rearrange that equation to so C equals N over V. Number of moles, I've just worked out there, two times 10 to the minus four, 
divided by the volume that I had in this case, which is coincidence that they're both 10. So bear that in mind, just since I've picked easy numbers here. So in that case, um, 2 times 10 to the minus 4, divided by 0 0.01, and that gives me a concentration of 0 0.02, my mental maths is fine. And there's our concentration of the potassium manganate.